Hey, what's up guys? Lego Kid here and today in front of me we have sign number 21241 and also called the Lego Minecraft B Cottage. Now this set retails for $25 in the US. This set also contains 254 pieces and along with two minifigures. So let's go ahead and begin the set review starting off with the minifigs. So the first minifigure we have is actually a very exclusive one to this set, and this is a player wearing a bear skin. So I love this new skin design here and how LEGO included it specifically to this set. First of all, really love the detailing with honey all over the face and neck here. Um, nothing much at the front otherwise, and same thing goes with the back. But I really love the look for this new face printing as well. So yeah, really great skin to get included in the set. And as for the player's accessory, he has a iron hoe. And here is the second minifigure, and this is a baby zombie. So uh, we've gone baby zombies before in previous Minecraft sets. I do like the color for his torso, and he also has a face print, which I really like. Um, otherwise, we have gone this mod before in previous Minecraft sets, but I do like how it's included in this one as well. And not only do we get two minifigures, but we also get four bees in this set as well. So first off, we have one normal looking bee with a different looking facial expression on the bee's face. And then we have three of these normal bees as well with a normal look on their face. Now the other two bees are built a little bit differently, which I will explain in just a few. So here's the first build, and this is meant to represent a bee farm or just a farm. So anyways, um, like I said before, the other two bees in this set are built a little bit differently, and that's because they're meant to be attached to the spinner at the bottom of the birch tree, which I do love the build for. But anyways, um, the bees aren't really that different. They have this yellow, um, yellowish school bus colored um, body here, but other than that, same bricks and same face print. And if you want, you can attach them to this spinner and you can just have them spin around the tree like this, which I think is a pretty cool play feature to also include to this set. And there's also a new translucent piece being used for the spinner at the bottom. But anyways, really love the build for the birch tree. And I also love this small build for a beehive as well. And over here, we have a normal farm set up with some crops growing by this pond. There's also a rose bush. And then there's also a beehive, I think. And if you want to, you can take this off the 2x2 uh, two two green jumper plate. And I also forgot to mention this before, but if you want to, you can place the other two bees around the farm like this. And finally, here's the build for the bee cottage. So first off, I really love the detailing at the front with the build for the eyes. And not only that, but there's also two of these brown gate pieces being used. And you can move them just slightly, but still works out. Uh, at the side here, there is access for the minifigure to get inside. So you could just open up these two gates here. But if you, as a human being, want access to the interior, then all you have to do is just take off this middle part of the bee cottage. And inside, there is a very cramped space. Um, not really much to show here. I don't know, maybe Lego could have added like a small bed. But anyways, um, over here, there is a table with a red candle on it. Love the new candle piece in this set. And then we also have a 2x2 two two printed honeycomb piece as well. And you can take it off this jumper plate here. And then there's also a jar of honey, which I love the use of the translucent yellow head piece as well. And you could just place that right on there. So yeah, really love the interior. I don't know, maybe Lego could have added some more objects or stuff around the back here. But anyways, you could just place the entire section of the bee cottage back on there like this. And at the back, nothing much, just a smooth plate. I mean, Lego could have maybe added like a bee stainer just for some extra detail. But anyways, at the side here, there are two black window panes. And at the top, there are 10 of these 2x2 two two translucent jumper plates here. And I really love the build for the bee wings as well. So yeah, overall, really love the build for the bee cottage here and how Lego is kind of remaking Minecraft mobs into these random looking um, mob houses like a bee cottage or a fox hut, kind of like what we got in the previous Minecraft wave. Either way, maybe Lego could do more of these type of builds in the future, like, I don't know, maybe a cow cottage or a 
uh, sheep cottage. I don't know, but still really love the build for the bee cottage here and especially how it's included in this set. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it for all the builds. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box art, the instruction booklet, and my final thoughts. And for the box art, nothing new about the typical Minecraft box design here. Uh, at the front, here's all the set information and also the main set picture. At the top, here are four of the characters being listed. Well, actually one character and the three mobs. And at the back, we have some more action shots to the set. And for the instruction booklet, at the back we have an advertisement for some more of the new Minecraft 2023 sets. So here we have the Sword Outpost, the Cave Hut, and then we also have the Panda Cottage and the Deep Dark Battle. I was really hoping to get the Deep Dark Battle sometime soon, which I probably will. Um, and then we also have the End Arena Battle. Other than that, we just have a list of all the bricks and pieces. So overall, I would say this is a pretty amazing set to get. Really love the build for the bee cottage. It's an adorable looking build. Not only that, but I also love the build for the farm setup and also the different mobs that are included in the set, like the baby zombie, the four bees, and also the new bear skin as well. So yeah, love all of the different stuff that this set comes with, and I would highly recommend getting it. Not only that, but I also love how LEGO is giving mobs their own specific huts or houses, like a bee cottage, a fox hut, or a panda haven, you know, those type of sets that we got recently from Minecraft. Either way, really love this set idea, and I can't wait to add it to my Minecraft display. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for one final set review to end off this month. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video, and I will see you all in the next one.